I think this strategy lacks a lot of uh, very important elements. Uh, Syria uh, fought against terrorism, and we shall be in the center of any real and serious uh, battle against terrorists. Of course... So you should be in the coalition? I'm not speaking about a coalition. I'm speaking about international efforts to eliminate terrorism. But those who would like to fight terrorism cannot fight terrorism in Syria or in Iraq without coordinated actions with both governments in Syria and Iraq and without a broader international coalition they that should take also on board Russia, China, the Islamic Republic of Iran. You cannot fight terrorism when you collaborate with those who created these terrorist groups, including in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, Turkey, uh, and others. If there was an air operation, airstrikes on Syrian territory, what would your government do? This is an aggression. And we believe, I mean, an aggression should be dealt as such. Would you use your air defenses against I them? shall not say, I mean, how we shall behave. This is a military aspect, but we believe any action against terrorism should be coordinated with the respective countries, should respect the United Nations Charter and the sovereignty and independence of countries. Both President Obama and Prime Minister Cameron in Britain have said that President Assad is not an appropriate ally because he has so much Syrian blood on his hands. This is a big lie. It is just a, a ploy to uh, justify their mistakes. I think from the beginning they committed horrible mistakes and they want now to use the Syrian leadership as a cover-up for their mistakes, but they should correct themselves first. Now, if and when the Americans and the British and others intervene, they become players in this civil war. What kind of consequences do you think that might have? It is disastrous, not only in Syria. It is disastrous, I mean, in all parts of the world. It is against the United Nations Charter. It, ag it is against the UN resolutions on combating terrorism. And this is, in effect, an attempt for, change re uh, for regime change. If they forget about the very important role that the government in Syria could play, this will be a very big mistake, and this will not be a battle against terrorism. This will be a battle for regime change. Maybe that's what they want. This is a big mistake, and it is a very dangerous game.